I successfully faded the Saints against the Broncos last week. Do I fade them again this week against the LA Chargers? We will talk about that here in just a bit. I'm Ronald Kabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. The number one overall handicapper at WagerTalk since September 1st. My all-access clients are up 92 units since then. Also, the number one NFL handicapper this season, um, hitting 69% of my NFL plays, currently on a 16-4 and run, my last 20 NFL plays. Uh, WagerTalk currently has a deal going on where you can get a 30-day all-access pass for just uh, $249. That's under $8 per day. That includes 5% plays, which I do have one up already for this weekend in the NFL. I'm 12-2 and this year on 5% plays. That's 85.7%, the best win percentage for 5% plays over at WagerTalk this year. So check out my capper page at wt.buzz backslash rc for for deals, uh, premium picks and packages, as well as several free plays. Uh, You can see it scrolling on the bottom uh, banner down there. Uh, So let's dive into this. Saints versus Chargers matchup here. The Chargers, uh, they've been struggling on offense uh, on offense lately, uh, particularly in their last game against the Cardinals, where they really couldn't get much going uh, despite a favorable match favorable matchup. Um, they're lacking, to me, I think they're lacking elite receiver talent uh, right now, and, and this puts a lot of pressure on uh, Justin Herbert to carry that offense. But you know, fortunately, they they have the Saints here in front of them. There's a Saints defense. They're dealing with a lot of uh, injuries right now, especially in the secondary. Uh, both starting cornerbacks, I believe, are out. Um, obviously, that's going to make the the the, uh, the pass vulner- vulnerable. Um, so if you look at that and if you look at the run defense as well, <laughs> the, the Saints' run defense hasn't been great either. Uh, the last couple of weeks, guys like Sean Tucker and, and uh, Javante Williams, they've kind of had their way with them. And now they got J- uh, J.K. Dobbins here um, looking to kind of feast on this, uh, this, this bad run defense. But... You know, on the other hand, you have the Saints offense, right? Uh, obviously, it looks like a mess. That's putting, <laughs> To me, that's putting it lightly. But, um, you know, Spencer Rattler, this is another start under his belt. He does have, like, the natural talent to, to really succeed in this league. But he has, uh, to me, I feel like he's had some problems with decision-making, right? And, um, you know, against a Chargers pass rush that has, you know, Mack and Bosa, it's going to be tough for him to really make quick decisions uh, in this in this game, too. His offensive line has really been hurt with injuries. Uh, that makes things a little bit worse. I think they're going to really rely on the short game, um, you know, uh, dinks and dunks, and, you, you know, throw in some, um, you know, uh, off-balance uh, rush, rushing plays. You know, the, the Chargers kind of struggled against James Conner last week, so I think this is something that the Saints can kind of um, uh, try to take advantage of. But, you know, despite all of this, I think the Saints actually, if you look from a trend perspective, and I'm a big trend guy and you're trying to kind of – balance the trends with the stats and, and um, you know, the momentum and all that stuff. Uh, this is one trend that that I've been backing for quite a while here. The Chargers, they're coming off a Monday night game. They're, they're facing a team that's played uh, on Thursday, that, that played on Thursday, meaning the Saints have extra rest and preparation coming into this one, right? Historically, teams in this spot specifically, right? Monday night games versus 30, Thursday night games, the, the more rested team, uh, 16 and 10 straight up, 18, 6 and 2 against the spread since 2015. Um, so this shows that fatigue really plays a factor in, in these types of games. Uh, New Orleans, I don't think they're going to win outright, but at the number that we're seeing here, seven and a half, I think this is a perfect setup for them to cover the spread. The Chargers could be sluggish here coming into this one uh, off a short week. And the Saints, you know, obviously, despite their issues, they are, um, you know, the more rested squad as well. So I would look towards the Saints plus the seven and a half if you can get it there. Um, what are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Make sure to hit that um, like and subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment after the show as well. Uh, I do like to hear other people's angles. Uh, make sure you um, uh, also you know hit the notification button as well because uh, you'll be able to see other breakdowns from, from other handicappers over at Wager Talk. Uh, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc. For free premium picks, um, you know, all the deals that they have going on over at wagerstock.com, you can head over there, uh, including that amazing, you know, 30-day all-access pass that I talked about earlier. And for all your personal betting needs, head over to themoneyballer.com. They have all the stats, trends, and insights you need to make informed betting decisions. You can use promo code RC50. Uh, that's also down there on the banner. You can see it scrolling um, in just a bit. 
Uh, but the, the moneyballer.com is my main source for handicapping. It's a big reason why I've had a, a successful WNBA season so far, NFL season and uh, NBA season coming up as well. So check that out. Uh, the moneyballer.com. Uh, this is the end of the video guys, whether you fade or follow it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your actions. Till next time. Peace.